Okay, so with this video, we want to show a wireless bootloader for the XMOS. So, first of all, in on the XMOS development environment, uh, we generate three images. One with the LED flashing at 100 milliseconds, another one with the LED flashing at one second, and another one to three seconds. After that, we use the command provided by the development uh, user guide from Exmos, and it's already done. It's already here flashing. So right now, what we have here is the factory image is the LED flashing at one second and the upgrade image is the LED flashing at 100 milliseconds so everything is okay okay so now we have here the Zigbee's so I'm going to power on this one here and I'm going to make sure that they are communicating before I transmit the data and as you can see, it's transmitting the data. That's okay. And so let's use a Java program that I made to transmit the data over serial. So here I choose COM6 connect. To show that uh, I'm not cheating, I'm going to disconnect the USB cable and connect the 5 volts power supply okay it's blinking so I come here a bit again and I start the Java program and make sure that first that they are communicating everyone is fine and it's COM6 connect open now I'm getting the binary file generated with the uh, Xmos command flash command and I'm going to put the three seconds image open and I press a button here on the Xmos saying that I'm ready to receive data and I press program and right now as you can see as you can see it's transmitting the data so this is a and shake protocol every single uh, package that I send I need to receive an acknowledge so that's why this progress bar only increments if I receive that acknowledge uh, package coming from the Exmos so the interesting part is going to be once we are close to the 90 we are going to show the LED uh, the ship resetting and the LED flashing to 3 seconds so as you can see here it's almost, so it's 90, 91, 92, 96, okay, so reset and 3 seconds, 2, 3, so that's it.